Good morning. It's Sunday, live with Dr. JJ from the Anam Care Prayer Corner. A reading from Esther. On the second day, as they were drinking wine, the king again said to Esther, What is your petition, Queen Esther? It should be granted you. And what is your request? Even to the half of my kingdom, it should be fulfilled. Then Esther answered, If I have won your favor, O king, and if I have pleased the king, let my life be given me. That is my petition and the lives of my people. That is my request. When we step back and remember beyond ourselves and the lives of all people, at the edge, the young, the old, the rich, the poor, every color, every creed, we discover the wonder and treasure and fire of our common humanity. That God does not appear in the Hebrew version of this text has created challenges to interpretation, but God's presence may be deduced from the loyalty, goodness, and triumph of the weak, it may be surmised from the reversals of fortune where the good triumph over the wicked, despite all expectation of the contrary, and God's presence is suggested by the liturgical feast of Purim where food is shared, community strengthened, and the poor invited to the table. For Christians, the Feast of Purim calls to mind Eucharistic feasts in the context of Esther serves as a strong warning against social systems that benefits the powerful and harm the others. Where are we helping the poor today? And God, open our eyes and our hands to feed, to be, standing and sharing with all who are poor today.